because uh, almost 15,000 people have been killed, which means that there is no one in Gaza who has not lost many members of their family. One in 100 has, uh, has been killed in Gaza. And, uh, and the lo loss of children is shocking. 6,000 children dead is, is unconceivable. Like um, the UNICEF representative who spoke with, with me, I cannot imagine another uh, tragedy of this proportion in my, my lifetime. And, um, and how can life be rebuilt among all this destruction? Because in Gaza, it won't be, even if the hostilities stopped, ne were never, um, I mean, never resumed, which is my hope, and what it, what it should happen, it will take years to reconstruct Gaza, and all the more it will take probably a generation to heal the trauma, because we shall not forget the people in Gaza were already heavily traumatized. The children, 80% of the children had already symptoms of depression before the 7th of October because of the living conditions in Gaza under blockade and after five major wars in, in uh, around 15 years. So the situation is dramatic and needs a lot of good thinking in what's um, what's happening, what's happening next. Okay. And there is a huge... Uh, effort that needs to come from the international community. Looking at your title, the UN Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in the Palestinian Territories, um, what would your role be right now then in terms of uh, human rights and looking at ensuring that people get the aid that they need? My title is Occupied Palestinian Territory and this is the main, uh, one of the main issues um, I insist on. In the future, whatever Whatever um, happens, there is one condition that needs to be met because the status quo is gone. Whatever was the situation before the 7th of October, it's, it's, uh, it's non-existent anymore. And to move forward, of course, there is a need of uh, a, a, an enduring ceasefire. There is a need for uh, hostages to be returned home, but there is a need for the violence to stop because while um, much has happened in the West, in, in the Gaza Strip, also 210 people, Palestinians, have been killed in the, in the West Bank by soldiers and armed settlers, while Israel these days also planned just today to expand the colonies. This cannot be allowed to continue. So for the future, it's necessary to end the military occupation and then the colonization of the land that remains of historical Palestine. This is the only way to prevent further, further violence.